guys, what's up? It's Faith. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. But for today, it's Sunday and we're gonna be doing like a Sunday prep for the week vlog. Tomorrow is The Bachelorette, episode two. And I'm gonna be making like a charcuterie, charcuterie board. We're gonna have like snacks. It's gonna be super chill. I'm also gonna try to make froze. Hopefully that turns out okay. We're gonna do all of that prepping and preparing today for tomorrow. Um, I thought I would take you guys along on my Sunday. I've had such a chill morning, got ready for the day. I mean, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and some shorts, but you know what, that's still getting ready. Let's get today's vlog started. I'm so excited. Came outside to, oh my God, bright. <laughs> Came outside to enjoy this coffee and it feels like 100 degrees, so I'm gonna go back inside, it's too hot. Oh my gosh, where is the fall? Where is the fall? Triggered by that. I have a story time for you guys. Um, I was supposed to vlog yesterday, but I decided to not. I needed like a moment to figure out what was going on with my life. Um, I hydroplaned in my car yesterday and it was the scariest thing ever. I've actually never really been in like a really bad car accident. So having that happen where your car like spins is insane. So this is my little PSA to drive very safely. I wasn't on my phone or anything, just like it happened. Um, in the morning, it was kind of like misty and wet, but it wasn't like raining, it was just like wet. And my mom said that's like the worst time to be driving because of it's like not wet, but it is wet. So annoying, I was driving back from the grocery store. Terrible, terrible experience. So be careful when you're driving in this fall, icky weather. I'm so glad nobody was around and nothing happened to my car or me. But other than that, scary experience. I was like a little traumatized to get in my car later that evening. And I was like, let me just take a break from vlogging. Like, let's just step away and be grateful that I'm here right now, which sounds really dramatic, but things can go south so quick. And that is the truth cup of joe coffee it's like um beans i guess with joe biden's logo on it and i actually wonder if these coffee beans are actually good because oh but then they have like we have we have a cup of camilla oh tea i think she's probably a tea person this is cute camilla reminds me of like chamomile tea so maybe it's like a chamomile tea this is awesome this is so funny from H-E-B. Here's a little quick haul moment. This is stuff for the charcuterie board. We're gonna do like mini sandwiches. So sandwich bread, lettuce, you know, deli meat, whatever, grapes. This is for like a cream cheese sauce that we're gonna be doing, the raspberry chipotle. Like, it's like cream cheese and that like drizzled on top. So good. Party tray, we're kind of cheating the system here. Ham, turkey, cheddar, Colby Jack crackers. All in this tray for $13. Fruits, strawberries. Um, raspberries, blueberries, and of course sandwich cannot not have cheese. So we are gonna use Monterey Jack cheese So this is for the charcuterie board. We're gonna play around with it. See how that goes We'll see then for the froze of course frozen strawberries limes lemons I don't know if I'm gonna get lemons, but for sure limes and then we're gonna do it with the Franzia sunset blush because it's a big container and we need to freeze it and you know Franzia we love it here as you can probably tell. So, Franzia Sunset Blush as the rosé. I will link a recipe that I'm following. I'll do it in a little bit. I'm gonna like put this stuff up real quick and then we'll get started making rosé. Okay, I'm a little worried about this stuff. So what I need to do is fill this pan with rosé and then freeze it overnight. And this is what's gonna make like the consistency like slushy. Obviously I'm gonna add ice, but rosé needs to go in here. So I'm gonna wash this because you know, been with the other pans, and then I'm gonna fill this up with rose. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I don't know if I put enough rosé or too much rosé. Or it's not rosé yet, it's rosé. I don't know why I keep saying rosé. So I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know. I think I should add a little bit. Maybe I should add a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Come on. Now that we have a pool, let me go make sure we have room in the freezer. Nothing would suck more than not having enough room. And we don't have enough room. Um, exactly what I thought. So we're going to have to move things around because it needs to be flat. Rose is going in the freezer. Oh my God, very slow. And for reference, I put too much, so don't do like that. Um, so I'm cleaning it up now, because I spilt it. It was way too full. After all that drama, I deserve a glass of win. So let me pour my glass one. Here are my little cup. These are from Amazon. I'll have them linked below. I love them so much. They're so fun. And then we're going to pour some Frosé. Actually, I'm going to save this. I don't want this right now. We're going to have some red wine. So cheers to doing one step out of the whole process of the Frosé. All we've done is pour it in a pan. And we didn't even do a great job of that because I spilled it everywhere. So. So I wanted to show you guys the charcuterie board that I got from Amazon. This is what I'm going to be using tomorrow, but just in case you guys are curious about what board I'm using, all the details of that, this is the board that I'm using. It is from Amazon. I got it during Amazon Prime Day, unintentional, and I love it. Well, I haven't used it yet, but I love the way it looks and the size and everything's pretty well. So it's from the cooking time is family time. And this is what it looks like. So you have these little crevices right here that are perfect for putting like crackers, cookies, sandwiches, whatever, all around. And then it also came with these two little cheese things or what you can put dips, whatever you want in them. But then when I take it out, let me be careful not to break anything because I'm that person that would. Okay, oopsie daisy. <laughs> In the drawer, as you guys saw, that just like literally fell out, it comes with a knife set, which is really nice, a little spatula, knives, things like that, like utensils for the board, which is really cool. And then a little labeling set here, and also some chalk to like write whatever you want on it. It slips right back in here, well, the plastic's on them, but it slips right back in here, which is really nice, and it just like hangs out the bottom. This is like an example of what it looks like with everything on it, and I'm so excited to use it for for bachelor tonight tomorrow so i'll have this board link below if you guys are interested in it i haven't used it yet but so far i love the way it looks i love the quality of the board and i think it's a really good basic starter charcuterie board so Okay, I have gotten so caught up or wrapped up in Love Island. I have literally has taken over my entire evening. I've been watching it this entire time. I ate my dinner, was watching it, cleaned my room, watching it. And I'm currently right now still watching the show. It's so good. You need to watch Love Island if you haven't already. I'm watching it off of YouTube TV. The U.S. version that recently just launched, season two. It's amazing. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this show. In my opinion, it's better than The Bachelorette and all of those other, you know, dating love shows. It's kind of more realistic because it's like a group of guys, a group of girls, and then you get matched up and then things happen, you know, drama. There has to be drama. And it's such like a good show because I feel like you're picking your own match, not someone's, you know, picking... It's like a mutual match, which is more realistic and I feel like would work better in the real world. And then you get tested by having to date other people or new people coming in. So it like tests the relationship and such a good show. I love it. You guys need to check it out. But I have just been watching this entire afternoon and I feel like I should end off the vlog. I mean, there's nothing really else going on for this afternoon. I'm going to go to bed, do my skincare and all of that. So... I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys.